In this video, we'll be looking at activity three from the Total Eclipse Choice Board. Now, this activity is one that is a bit time consuming. Um, so if you are able to have parent volunteers or maybe students that are needing National Honor Society hours um, or other types of volunteers, this may be uh, something that they can help you with because it will take a good amount of time. So I'm just going to click on the sunglasses safety title for this activity. And this is one that has been provided um, through NASA. And so before we even get into it, just want to show you that um, by using these glasses and attaching them to the plate, it allows for students to not be able to peek over their glasses or easily take them off when viewing the eclipse. So just having that additional uh, safety precaution in there. Uh, you have the different standards listed with this activity. Um, you'll see that it goes K through five. And we're talking about using tools safely. And then again, long-term goals, um, what you're wanting students to understand or experience from this activity, and then any misconceptions that students may have. Um, one of these big ones is that uh, when looking at the sun, even if it's through a camera lens or a telescope, binoculars, any other type of optical device, um, even while using Eclipse glasses, that can still be extremely dangerous and cause injuries to the eyes. So we really wanna make sure that they are only looking at the Eclipse through their glasses. And this activity is a way to ensure that they are practicing those um, safety practices. So through here, you'll see um, the link to the different graphics for this activity itself, like we've observed in some of the others that we have looked at, and then the different materials that are required. Those of you who are in Garland ISD, uh, if you are needing some paper plates, you can order them through the Google form linked in this video, and Charlie can get those sent out to you uh, pretty quickly. So throughout this procedure, there are reminders to never look directly at the sun without those proper, uh, the proper safety equipment, which are our Eclipse glasses. Um, and this viewer that students uh, will be able to wear can help ensure that they aren't going to uh, peek or take their glasses off very easily and just really help ensure that um, they're continuing to use safety equipment. Uh, throughout the viewing of the eclipse itself. So this kind of walks through, our teacher directions walk you through the different processes for making these paper plate glass holders. Whatever glasses you are going to use, those needs to be the ones that you trace with. Um, while all glasses work, or all eclipse glasses work the same, uh, they may not all be the same size, so you do want to make sure that you have uh, one that you can use as your template for tracing glasses on these plates. So you'll trace uh, the perimeter of the uh, front of the frames. Make sure you include where the lenses are. Uh, then use an X-Acto knife to cut the lens section out. Then you'll also want to make sure that you add slits for those temple um, ear pieces to be slid through makes it even more difficult for students to take those glasses off. You're going to continue with uh, making sure that the outside of the glasses cover that section that is cut out. So really all that they've got in there um, that is cut are the, the lens section itself. Um, and then you'll want to tape them down. Now, if you want to have students decorate their plates, um, as you can see in this picture, don't tape the glasses down just yet. Have them do their decorations first, um, and then you can tape them after. You'll also need to make sure you cut out a triangular section toward the bottom for the nose and um, 
the mouth in order to fit. And then once students have decorated, go ahead, put the glasses through, um, tape them down, make sure that they fit properly um, and that they are secure. There's also a recommendation to tie a string or a piece of ribbon or something to that effect um, to better secure glasses for younger students, maybe pre-K, kindergarten, so that they do not um, fall off. If you're looking for additional information from NASA regarding safe viewing practices for the solar eclipse, there is a link down at the bottom of this activity that you can click um, and kind of run through some different suggestions and practices from NASA in terms of viewing the solar eclipse safely.